Okay, YouTube, have another uh, review set up um, for the Aqua Farm by Back to the Roots. Uh, this unit I received as a gift, and uh, I'm going to set it up a little bit differently, so I, I guess I really can't call this a re review. Uh, we have a small fish tank right now that has a couple guppies, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what the other fish is, but a small fish. And since we've moved, I really haven't had a good place for it. I think this tank will be fine. You, the animal lovers out there that say, hey, uh, this tank's too small for anything, I think it's fine for a couple of guppies. If they look too sad, I'll put them somewhere else. Um, but the kit has everything in it. Uh, this kit I received actually has a cracked tank, so I reached out to the company. They were great. They sent me a new tank that's not cracked. So we're going to go ahead and set it up. Now the first problem with this fish tank that you know you have to think about before you go out and buy it is where are you going to put it? You're buying it to grow stuff out of the top and practice aquaponics, so you need to have sun. Now my wife's probably going to kill me because I'm going to put it out here and we'll surprise her. Uh, I'm going to take my little Christmas cactus here, move it over. It's going to be a centerpiece on this table now. And the tank's final resting spot, I think, is going to be right there. I have power behind me. We can uh, make it work, and it'll be a nice little conversation piece out here in the summer. So this kit has everything except for the fish, is my understanding. So you have the instruction book that tells you how to fill it up and how to get your fish. You get two things of chemicals, uh, bacteria and a chlorine uh, decontaminator, I guess you'd call it. Uh, then you have your grow medium for in your grow pots. You have some gravel for the bottom of the tank. And then we have a handful of seeds. We have uh, radish sprouts and wheat grass, some fish food. and some tidy tank. This is the pump and a little hose. So we're going to go ahead here. Um, I'm going to get, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer my fish over to this. Like I said, I can't really call this a review because I'm going to plant stuff that I have. You know, the wheat grass um, and the radish sprouts just don't do much for me. I'm going to probably try, I think I have some basil seeds and a couple things like that. We'll try those out and see how they grow in here. So here's the tank all set up. Um, you know, I, there's only five cups to grow in. This is actually a cool little feeder. You push this down in and it has access straight into the tank so you don't have to move anything to feed the fish. You push it open, feed them, close it back up. I sort of like it because it's all closed. You know, hopefully that helps with evaporation. You do have, you know, openings here, of course. Um, just has the stone, the grow medium in top. I put seeds directly into there. Hopefully it stays moist enough. I may mist it with a sprayer. You don't want to pour too much water or those seeds are going to get rinsed down into the bottom of that tank. Um, I planted one spinach, two lettuce, and two basil plants. We'll see how they do. I'm afraid the basil may get too big. The lettuce and spinach are right there on the cusp because you can see there's my hand. You know, I have a big man hand, but uh, you know, it's not that big a space. So, you know, we'll watch that and see how it does. You can see the fish swimming around down there. Like I said, I know, you know, you haters out there saying, hey, that's too little of a tank, but they seem to be fine. If they have problems, I'll move them to a bigger tank. I put, uh, I, I transferred the water from the other tanks. So I put that little sign in there for my kids. You know, they're, these are their fish and, you know, they should enjoy it. So everything was pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I had fish already that I planned on moving into here. So I actually siphoned water off their tank. So I know there's good nutrients in there um, and a nitrogen buildup already. So that'll be good for the plants and for the fish. Uh, like I said, this really isn't a review because I'm not using it like they said. You know, they, they tell you to put in one tetra. I have a couple small guppies. Uh, that seem very happy. I do have a, I have a small striped fish in there too. He seems fine. If he doesn't seem happy, I'll move him to a bigger tank. 
Um, you know, people put guppies in fish pools all the time. I know there's going to be critics out there that say, hey, that thing's way too small for anything, even a, even a beta fish. But uh, we're going to try it out and see how, how they look and how everything performs. Up here, um, as I showed you, you know, there's, I planted two basil plants, two lettuce plants, two spinach plants. The only problem I can even foresee is the spacing looks very tight. You know, this is a three gallon tank, I do believe. Uh, you know, if this was a five, maybe even a uh, 10 gallon tank, you know, maybe a little bit more spaced correctly. I, I just, I don't know what to do with the, the products they gave me. I don't know, you know, I guess we could figure it out, but, you know, basil, lettuce, and spinach are something, you know, more common that if this works with it, you know, something that you would grow at home and actually use and have fun with uh, during the winter season. That's what I like about it right now. There's snow on the ground outside, and hopefully I'll be able to have some plants in here to talk to uh, my family about when they stop by. So that is it. We'll check back. Uh, the seeds are going to take you know anywhere from five to ten days to germinate. So we'll check back in about you know two weeks, see how it's doing, and go from there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Have a good day.